I'm going to show you what's so great about rectangle shapes in Flinto for Mac. To draw a rectangle, you either click the rectangle button in the toolbar or press R on your keyboard and then click and drag on the screen. Using rectangles, you can draw simple layouts right in Flinto. And that's really useful if you just want to test something out. But beyond that, you can also animate all the shape properties like fill color, border, drop shadow, corner radius. When you animate these, you'll get a smooth transformation, and this allows for some really cool effects, like this 3D fold effect. I'm gonna show you how I made this. So I just drew three rectangles and put a shadow layer in the back, and then I duplicated the screen and rotated those rectangles in 3D and blurred out the shadow layer. And then I altered the colors a little bit to make it look like the um, folded rectangles were reflecting light in different ways. Then I went into the transition designer and connected all the rectangles that are the same in both screens, so a very easy transition to set up in the transition designer. And then I just created some links between the screens and I added a swipe left and swipe right so that I could do a direct manipulation gesture to control this transition. Let's take a look at another one. When you use our updated Sketch plugin, you actually send vector rectangles from Sketch to Flinto where possible. And you can see that this is really a shape because I'm able to change the border radius here. So all the rectangles are actual rectangles unless they use a property that Flinto doesn't support, like double borders. I'm gonna jump into the transition designer, and the first thing I'm gonna do is connect the search button with the search field. You should watch our video on connected layers if you don't know how that works. But now, connected layers can animate between shape properties, meaning the border radius, the border, the background color, are all doing a smooth transition between those states, which creates this really cool expanding search field effect. So I'm just going to finish up the rest of this transition, make the keyboard slide up, make the close button appear, and uh, here's how it looks when it's all finished. So that's a really nice effect, and we're excited to see what you do with new vector rectangle support in Flint over Mac.